Okay, what's up guys? Uh, it's Friday and we got a little free tutorial here on how to publish a Google Sheet data into your website. Uh, I'm only doing this because I actually just did it on smarthelping.com. So basically, I've got a lot of back-end stuff going on as far as how I'm populating this list, but I just wanted to show the most recently purchased templates. So I've got a list here that that displays that, and this is all going to be hooked up to Zapier, so it's automated through PayPal. But um, this is really cool. So if you want to do this, the, here's the end result, and here's the coolest thing: you can get links. The, these are all clickable links. Like the link I have in the Google Sheet, like here, lending business, do the lending business, or even evaluation. So that's really cool that the links work that show up in the data so that's i mean this is a free everything here i'm doing is free i didn't have to pay any money the zap allows you to do, you to do a hundred things a month or else you got to pay some kind of fee i don't know but um you could always you don't have to use that beer you could just set up something else the point is you can publish data from your google sheet into a web page in html code um, and it retains all the formatting, the links, the coloring. You can adjust the text font, sizes, colors, the background, and all that will change if you change it right here on your Google Sheet. So how to do this? Well, you go to the tab you want to do this on. You hit File, go to Share, you go to Publish to Web, click that, and look at this. So I want to do, you can either do a web page, a link. So... I actually never did that before. I just did the embed. So embed is how you get it to a website. So I go to embed. I don't want to do entire document. I just want to do models. So technically, if you wanted to, um, you could do your entire, you could publish your entire um, Google Sheet and make it a website with a link, with its own link. Uh, but what, what I've done here is embed code. Uh, I selected the tab I want to do, which is this, this one, and this is the code, and I just dropped that into the uh, website editor. Now, here's a couple things you have to know. It doesn't come formatted with width and height, so I had to manually adjust the width and height by doing a tiny, tiny bit of code. It wasn't hard. Um, what was the syntax? I think after this last false here so it says false and then then uh, parentheses so after that or was it before i didn't save the code but you have to manually put in the width like width equals and then parentheses or uh what you call it these little things up here and then put in you know 315 and and close it and then also do the same with the the width or width and height. So that is possible. Uh, let me just look real quick. Well, let's see. I actually can't navigate anywhere. Shoot. I'll put it in the description box below so you can see. But you'll just put it in between essentially the end of this string here. Um, actually, oh, here it is. So it goes after true. So you'll have, you'll see in the code, it says iframe source. It does the website or the Google Doc all the way over here. Dot, 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 GID, that's the web, the tab name. And then and AMP single equals true. So after true, you're going to put in, um, what are these things called? The two little, I mean, I use it all the time in, in formulas. Uh, they're not apostrophes. Um, what is that called? It's called something. I don't know, but it goes after here. I'll forget it. Forget it. I'll put it in the in the description box uh, below. But the point of this is, it's really cool. Um, you can publish live data as it updates. It will update on your web page, and I'm doing this for my own site. It's awesome. I'm really excited about this. So. Uh, there you go. Um, just a free little piece of information. Hope you guys enjoy. 
Uh, and keep in mind, obviously, uh, if you want to support me, go to smarthelping.com. I've got all kinds of uh, Google Sheet and Excel templates for different industries. I got over 60 startup models. I've got joint venture cash flow waterfalls, accounting tools, a lot of stuff to um, help HR departments in Google Sheets and Excel. A lot of cool stuff there. Um, lending models, SaaS models. Got tons of these, over 13. So all sorts of things. Um, check it out. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you guys Monday. As you know, I'm going through and adding uh, three statement modeling integration to all the startup models. We finished through um, all the startup models in the top 20 templates. I've also done the um, startup marketplace or network. And then next on the list, well, I don't know, I should have to see. Um, but we'll have we'll start that on Monday. So hopefully everyone has a great weekend and I'll catch you on the next one.